Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. My name's Elizabeth, I'm a marine biologist, and for the last three years now, it's been three whole years of me posting videos every single week on YouTube, I've made it my mission to share with you the weird and the wonderful and the amazingness of marine life, and in particular where we are today, the intertidal rocky shores. I want to show you how important they are and how fantastic marine life is. Um, which is why the topic that I'm talking about today is so important um, and hits so close to home and kind of highlights, I think, exactly why this channel is important and this message is important and how your involvement in um, climate and science and getting involved in nature is, is, is so crucial. I cannot overemphasize it. Um, I cannot overemphasize it enough. Now, the reason I think this channel is so important and the reason I continue to make these videos every single week is that we are the, uh, there is more ocean on this planet than there, there is anything else. And it's so important to the planet's health. But if you want to look at it from the point of view of a human perspective as well, it's so important to our lives. We need the ocean to even breathe, to be able to have enough oxygen on the planet to survive. And there's so many other things that the sea is linked to and it's so it's just so important but because we go from land to sea there is such a disconnect that addition of water not only makes it harder for us to study but it also seems to just switch something in our minds that means we can do what we want we can dump sewage and we can dump everything else in there it, 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 we can let the ocean take in all our emissions and it just And it, that stuff comes from a place where we need more connection. And the more we connect, the more we learn, the more people teach us things, not just in a lectury kind of way, but in a every, you know, every part of society should know how other everything is affected by it. We should know how the ocean is influencing our daily life. And when we learn these kind of things and when we see how amazing stuff is and how important it is, I can't help but think we will want to protect it. That's how I feel and that is why I started this channel and want to share things. And um, instead of thinking that marine biology is something that you need to dive and go to the tropics for, it's not. You can get to any coastline and it is full of unbelievable amount of wildlife. And you just need to, and, and I mean, this is not me preaching saying like, ah, oh, you should do this. I'm saying that I'm going on this journey of learning, you know, even I learn more and more about different species that exist in the ocean every day and different things about biodiversity. And I want to share what I learn with you because it's changing my life and changing the perspective and changing how I think. Learning that in a small, tiny section of a bit of coast, you can find so many species. It just emphasizes how devastating it is if that was ever threatened. And that's kind of the point of today's video. So I want to make sure I get this right. So as I talk about this, um, I'm going to be putting the facts and where I got them from up on the screen. Um, the, like the exact quotes and things, because I want to make sure I'm getting this right. But in America and Canada and North America, like the North American continent, there has been massive heat waves, and they've been lasting for they've been lasting they've been for about three weeks. And these heat waves have coincided with low tides during midday, which has meant that the species that are intertidal have bared the brunt of it. They have um, got hit with the most heat. And you can see uh, that species are adapted. I'm trying to see if I can see if there's, oh, here we go. This is a loose, is there a loose bit? I'll pull it off. Well, you can kind of hear, can you hear? You can hear the crispiness of these, this seaweed. But as soon as the water comes back, it will go back to normal. So it ha it do they do adapt. They're, it's fascinating, and I obviously have a lot of that on my channel. All these species adapt to living in water, then completely into air. And they can also cope with like a bit of heat, like a, a hit, like a really, you know, if you, you can survive being in the desert for a little bit, but you can't survive being in the desert for three weeks with when you've never adapted to that. 
you know, we take our clothes off and on, we use technology, that's how humans live around the world. And some of these species, they can't move. And, you know, to adapt, they have to evolve, which is a hell of a lot slower than, than just taking your clothes off and on. Um, and so when you get hit by a heat wave, when they get hit by a heat wave, and that heat wave continues, they, when they get hit by a heat wave, they get stressed. And if that stress continues, they will die, which is what's happened in the Pacific. And I honestly cannot believe I was reading the numbers. I can't believe it. I mean, I can, I can understand the devastation that it's caused. It's just unbelievable because it's so sad. Um, we all know the barnacles are my absolute favorite. These things, even though I accidentally uh, crazed again some today. Um, and <laughs> the fact that's coming out for the scientists is that a hundred million barnacles could have died. A hundred million. And how they discovered that this was happening, that these, that, that you know, what scientists were out and they were seeing muscle beds all open because when you cook mussels, when they die, they don't keep their shells open anymore. They open, which is usually how you tell that they're cooked and you can then eat them. But in this case, um, they've literally cooked alive on the rocky shore because it was so hot. Um, and they've gone along and they've, the scientists there have been scrambling to get as much data as possible. And they estimate that one billion, one billion organisms have died. And they think that's probably an underestimate. I can't get my head around it. I can't, I literally cannot get my head around it. And with the mussels, they said that they, they think that in, in the space of if you walk a minute on the shore, if you walk just a minute from, just keep walking for a minute and stop, that 600,000 mussels in that space had died. I, <sighs> so actually this week, or maybe the week before, um, but around this time is the time at which I hit another year that I've been on YouTube for a whole nother year and actually I'm coming up to getting a thousand subscribers which is such a big milestone something I've worked so unbelievably hard for and um I mean I'm really excited for that don't worry people this is not like the 100,000 100, this is not the 1,000 subscriber celebration but it's kind of coming at I mean it, it's coming at a time where it's just just goes to show that I didn't ever think when I started this channel that in three years time or when I hit a thousand subscribers I would be having to make a video that said one billion marine species on the rocky shore have died in the space of three weeks somewhere because of climate change and that's happening because of climate change this isn't something that's we're not going to see in our lifetimes because within the space of three years we have literally seen it in the lifetime of this channel we are now seeing it and they said in their statement as well which is something that i always bring up was what i'm worried for one scientist said was that it's about the species we don't know there's still so much about the rocky shore that we don't know and all the little species that are hidden and difficult to tell how are they going to survive and part of this issue is that there's also a gap Though we know how important it is, we don't know everything about it. We, but we know how important it is. Is that these things are these aren't just here for us to rock pool at. These are a part of an ecosystem, and the whole ocean is connected. And we've seen it. There are so many nursery grounds here. Mussels are food for starfish, which are food for for bigger predators, which are then food for. Um, you know, we're getting onto things like food for like otters or we're getting on, you know, it goes up the chain. This isn't something, that loss of a billion species isn't something that we all turn around and be like, oh, well, those shores are going to have less life on it. That is going to have a knock on effect for years and years and years. And they said that if heat waves keep on coming like they're predicted to keep getting longer, 
the shores won't recover the populations won't recover they're going to get hit and hit and hit and it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and so to me, that just screams how important this channel is and how important it is for us to learn about intertidal things and how important it is for us to educate ourselves about climate change and how best to tackle it and combat it. And that is kind of a topic for another video because it is a big, it is a big and sometimes overwhelming research place, but there are great resources online. And when I have the chance, as I go through, I will share those with you all but for the moment i'm just going to focus on if if you think if you like marine life and you're interested in nature and you're interested in rock pooling there is no time like the present to start learning start talking about it and start using your voice for it because these species don't have someone to to talk stand up for them they have us the people that care about them and and we can use our voice to show that this is not okay that the more we learn about these impacts the more we can present the evidence the more we can talk to people and bring the ocean into our everyday lives learning about how the ocean gives us oxygen learning about you know what's the harm with putting different things in the sea or how humans are influencing it the more that conversation comes into everyday lives the more and more ridiculous it's going to be that we're not doing what we need to do to fix it and i know that there are larger issues and it is a very touchy topic but i can't see how us talking about it us voicing it us learning about it us showing that this is important that we care about it and that we need to protect it is going to do anything but help is going to help so so this channel is something i've worked so hard and put so much time into and i'm so grateful for everyone that subscribes but it's it's shown me now as well how important it is and how much i want to carry on sharing this message and that how much and how important that you listening are because that's a th almost a thousand people that potentially wouldn't have learned as much about the rocky shore had they not watched my videos and i just plead with with as many of you as possible to take the time to enjoy the marine life and engage with it go out rock pooling and just enjoy it and fall in love because when you fell in love with it if you fall in love with it even a little bit more or hopefully as much as i have then you can't help but want to talk and learn and educate and it doesn't mean that you need to become a marine biologist but it doesn't mean that even if you're not a marine biologist your voice doesn't matter because everyone's voice matters in this talking to people about how important it is educating people about how fantastic it is showing people that you know this rocky shore is a home to so many species that would be so devastating if we lost it like the poor shores and happening with that heat wave there are ways that we can try and turn this around that we can protect it and that we can just use our voice to try and make this planet better for everyone and the species that also inhabit it so this is kind of a rambling talking video from me but potentially could be one of the most important videos i make because it is a statement of how important this channel is how important you guys are and just how important it is to care for nature i will see you next week with another video which will be back on the upbeatness of it but this is important this is really important and so i wish you all the best of luck and uh let's 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 have a bit of I let us have a bit of homework. <laughs> if you if you watch if you've watched it so far, then go and this week please just talk to someone that maybe doesn't know much about marine life and just tell them a marine fact. That is the bare minimum start that we can do. You know, someone that doesn't know much about our oceans, just have a conversation. Start a conversation with someone and let them know how important and amazing our ocean is. 
and who knows that could have a i'm a strong believer that you know a single conversation with someone can make a lot of difference so i will see you all next week with another video bye everyone <laughs>